Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I filmed a Violet Sunrise look for you. I just played around with my new Tarte palette that I got for Christmas and honestly, I have not been able to put this down. Every time that I've been doing my makeup since I got it at Christmas, I have picked this up for eyeshadow and that says something because I'm really really fussy with my eyeshadows hey these are beautiful and they blend so so well don't mind my white arms look you can actually see my veins on that white oh look at that it's so freaky but like everyone would love this you got cool tones you got warm tones you got matte you got shimmers i used the shimmers and again like i am a snob i just think once you've had makeup gig and morphe like i just Everything does not compare, but I love that this. this is super, super soft. It is probably 58 degrees in my beauty room. I'm gonna go downstairs, turn the AC on, and edit this. I hope you guys have a good rest of the night or day whenever you're watching this, and happy 2017, guys. All right, enjoy the tutorial. Okay, see you next time, bye. Hey guys, so let's do this. Because it's so hot, I'm going to prep my skin with MAC Fix Plus today. Just a light spritz. Then going in with Nivea for Men Post Shave Balm and Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid as my primer. I'm obsessed with this Becca skin stuff, guys. So we're just going to massage that into the face with clean hands, of course. Onto the neck and onto the chest, just so we're nice and blended. I'm just going to pop some lip wax on my lips. They've been super dry lately. This is mega hydrating, so just popping that on to prep. I'm using MAC, not Studio, MAC Pro Longwear foundation today in NC30. And I'm applying it with my foundation F60, just messily so it's evenly distributed. Then going on with my beauty blender. One of my friends does that and she says it saves a lot of her foundation and I can't step away from my beauty blender. And this is working for me really well. I'm spraying my face again with MAC Fix Plus just to sheer it out. I didn't want to go too full coverage today and that just keeps it sheer for me. So this is the Morphe Beauty Blender and I have not been able to put it down. I like it more than my beauty blender. Can you believe that? At Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in Light Warm, just going from the corner of the eye, flicking it out to the cheek, and we're just going to lift and brighten because I've got some bags because all I did was drink and eat naughty food over Christmas, so I'm lacking hydration, so fake it till you make it. So putting that out and fanning it, then I'm going to pop it on the bridge of my nose and star of my forehead, Cupid's bow and chin, just to evenly distribute the light so wherever you want to brighten just pop your concealer and then I'm going to go in with the same beauty blender that I was using before and blending that in just going to set it with the Australis banana powder today because <laughs> if it doesn't I'm going to crease but my eye will not stop watering through this, so I end up just having to keep on blending it out. So one of the eyes looked a bit dodgy. Sorry about that. Um, the Astralis Fresh and Fullest Powder in Nude, just setting my face. I am going to use a darker powder to blend in my neck. So that's the tan, darkest tan, darkest brown, sorry. And I just grab a big fluffy brush, large powder, um, Sigma E, sorry, F30. And I'm just going to pop that everywhere because I'm white and I don't actually have any foundation that's that white as me. Hula bronzer. Loving hula bronzer. Putting that on my cheeks. And then I'm going to put it on my forehead because never forget the good old forehead. This is the perfect bronzer for me. It is legit hands down the best bronzer. I'm using that same large Sigma powder brush, the F30, and just putting that everywhere. It's not shimmery, it's definitely a matte bronzer. So if you don't like matte bronzers, don't use this, but I bloody love it. And I always apply my bronzer behind the ear, even on the ear, down to my neck, just so then it looks more bronzed and it just doesn't have that you know, warm face, white neck. This blush, guys, this blush, look at it, so pretty, so pretty. 
This is from the Jaclyn Hill and Becca Cosmetics line and it's called Rose Spritz and I love it. So there I am showing you a nice little trick. Put your two fingers there and blending it up. That's how I got taught or learned on YouTube how to do blush. blush. Oh my God. And it works. <laughs> Brow Wiz. Oh, welcome back. Brow Wiz. I have missed this. Brushing it upwards. Then getting the crayon following the bottom of my desired line. Then I start from the tail and start mimicking hairs. And as I'm doing it, I am blending the product out with the spoolie that is on the bottom of the brow ears. Now, when it comes to the beginning of your brow, so the center part that's closest to the bridge of your nose, I like to switch my direction and go upwards. So as I'm doing here, I'm following the hair where it grows, but in the middle, well, sorry, the beginning of it, they go upwards. So see, I'm just very softly, like I'm applying such soft, soft pressure compared to what I would halfway through. I kind of think of it like an ombre, if you will, and then I like to do that. I don't mind it to be a bit harsher where the arch is to the tail because naturally your brows are fuller and thicker there if you're lucky enough to have them. But try doing that in the middle. It really does help as well as what I'm about to show you, taking off the excess with a beauty blender. So to neaten up my line, I just use a little bit of concealer, tiny bit, so you're just brushing my brush, and just go along the bottom just to neaten it all up. This is a must for me, definitely, because I'm creating pretty much a whole new brow. And with the Beauty Blender, see how it just takes off that excess product? So it looks a little bit more natural. That's what I like. So on the Tarte palette, I'm going to go in with Classic. That's just going to be there just to make sure that there's powder down there because there's any moisture on your eye as if, if you haven't set it properly. Blending is just going to be an absolute nightmare. So always, always, always recommend doing that. And I'm using the Sigma E40. Going in with Chic, which is a nice dusty pink, and popping that from my crease, blending backward, forth, back and forth, and then little circle motions. And when there's not much left on my product, I'm just gonna go up towards my brow bone. Again, with the other eye. Now we're gonna go in with, what color is it? Let's see, mood, mod, mod, sorry, pink. Oh, this is so different for me, but I love it. Do you guys love it? I'm using the Tapered Blending E25, and I'm just gonna go on my crease or in my crease, then blend it up again, back and forth, windscreen wiper motions, soft touches, little circles, and when there's nothing left on my brush, I'm going to go up and I'm going to go in again with the E40 clean brush, nothing on that, and going up and blending. Going with Innocent, which is just, a, I want to say, a shade darker than Chic. This is how I find the best way to do any smoky eye is just build up to colours. It makes blending so much easier and you just have such a bit, like, I can't not use a lot of colours. Like, they're just so pretty, you know? And always going back in with the E40 because it's nice and big and fluffy. And if you do get stuck with blending a colour out, go back to the colour that you used previously. So, you know, we had we just used Innocent and go back in with Chic and then just go on top of Chic with a big fluffy brush and that will help with all the harsh lines. I just wanted to deepen that up a little bit, so I picked up Innocent again. If you ever want to do that and build up the colour a little bit more, that's what I do, just so then you don't have this big little circle of colour. Going in with No Filter. I love this. Again, so different for me, like a movie purple. Just dropping that slightly lower than I did with Innocent, but I'm going to blend it up and out. Using a tapered blending brush, again using the Sigma E35. And then once I'm done with that, I'm going to go back in with my big fluffy baby and blend it out. You know, I'm blending up this. I just can't get over how fluffy the E40 was in the pack than the normal E40 that I get from Sigma. Like, what's going on with that? It's just, I'm in love with it. I'm in love. Look how fat and fluffy it is. Love it. Gonna go in with drama and popping that on the outer V with an E, same brush, just a cleaner one, different one that I have there, but still an E35, sorry. 
and just that outer V just to kind of give that little bit of depth of purple and smoky sexiness that we all like in a good smoky eye. And again, just going to drop it up to another brush. I'm not going to go in with the E40 just yet. I'm just going to use a cleaner version of the E30 25, sorry, just because I don't want it to get messy. I don't want drama to get too high because I look like I got punched in the eye. And blending that out ever so softly with control. Using the little Morphe one, I love this. So pretty. It's kind of got a little hint of a purple tone. I'm using a concealer brush because rules are made to be broken. And it wasn't sparkly enough without MAC Fix Plus. So I spritzed my brush and then, yes, look, hello. I just wanted a few shimmers on there today. Got a bit greedy. With shimmers and any kind of little brush, just add some Fix Plus and it's amazing. Going in with Glam, spritzing my brush. And I'm just going to pop that on the center, patting that on just on the center because I want three shimmers today. See, not dewy enough, just keep spraying it. Minx, this is a dark purple, just gonna pop that on the edge and I'm gonna use my blush, sorry, <laughs> gonna use my brush and just use it to blend in those other two colors. Just the tip of that brush though, very delicate. Don't want it to be blended in too much. Want it to kind of be shimmer on the eyelids, matte everywhere else. Telescopic by L'Oreal. I love you, Telescopic. Just going to use like what you normally do with mascara. Wiggle the brush like you're teasing it left to right or just blinking. As I said before, my eyes were watering so much, so I had to be quite careful. See? <laughs> Any tips on how to stop your eyes from watering? Holler at your girl. Please tell me. Um, but if you haven't tried this mascara, please do. Going underneath the eyes with Innocent and using a small tapered blending brush, E45. And we're gonna blend it out. Going in with Fierce on a smaller tapered brush, which is the short shader brush E20. I have them all in front of me so then I can read them out because I don't know them off my heart, sorry. And again, just putting Fierce along the lower lash line. Nice and tight there, don't want a raccoon. Oh, so trick if you get mascara on you, wait until it dries, get a Q-tip and wiggle. Just wait until it dries because it will come off and it won't interfere with anything. Going in with the vamp again. And a small pencil brush. Oh, I just love this brush. Small pencil brush, it's E30 and just running that along the lash line again. I'm really happy with that lower lash line today. Very happy. We're just going to coat the bottom lashes with Telescopic yet again. So I've got Max Velvet Teddy Lipstick. Oh, I love it. Quite easy. So I've just been filling out my lips just like this. Got no pencil. Just starting from the corner and bringing it up to the cupid's bow. One of my least favorite things about my face is my lips because they're uneven. I have a crooked jaw and I've split my lip twice. It's just super annoying. I wish they were even. But that's the best way to do it if you're not overdrawing. Just go from the corner and then right up to the top. No mess. No fuss. I just love that colour. Isn't it pretty? Good old velvet teddy. Going to use Prosecco Pop for the first time. Spritzing my Morphe M501 with some MAC Fix Plus after I've dipped in. And I'm popping that on the top of my cheekbones, on the side of the temple, just above the brow bone. Because that's where the sun will hit. And look, as loving it. Tip of the nose. I can't seem to fall out of that habit of putting it on my nose because I like a little highlight. And then we're going to do the same to the opposite side. With my e.l.f. blending brush, I'm just going to pop that right on the top of that brow bone. And that completes the tutorial, guys. I'm just going to set my face with Urban Decay Chilled All Night Setting Spray. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. So guys, this is the final look. It's totally not what I went in thinking I was going to do. I thought I was going to do this really nice, warm, smoky eye. But I never play with cool tones like purple so that was kind of fun to play with I hope you liked it. I had to put some warm highlighter on there because I can't just have cool tones because it does nothing for me or I just don't feel like I look as good with it but you do whatever works for you I think it looks really fun like kind of like a violet sunrise eyeshadow I would have loved to put on lashes for you it's not individual but as you saw through the tutorial this eyeball just wants to Water and water and water. And once that happens, no glue is going to stick on there. So I'm sorry, but totally put on some lashes on these and swear to God, these will just step it up. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Bye.